What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to find out to see if there's any difference between a restricted airflow and a free flow exhaust in terms of power and exhaust sound. So before we start, let's roll to the intro video. Alright guys, so I will not be replacing my stock exhaust muffler. I'm going to close and open the exhaust valve to simulate a stock exhaust and aftermarket exhaust. So first I have to remove the exhaust side cover in order to access to the exhaust valve assembly. So the exhaust valve assembly is located at the back of this exhaust side cover. So in order for me to remove this exhaust side cover, there's three bolts which I have to remove. One, two and three and the exhaust side cover will be out. So ever since I bought this R6, I've been running the bike with the exhaust valve open. I believe the previous owner was using the aftermarket exhaust which doesn't require any exhaust valve cable to be installed. So when he decided to sell this bike, he might have misplaced or disposed the exhaust valve cable. So this is the reason why all this while I didn't have any exhaust valve cable on my bike. So the opening and the closing of the exhaust valve is being controlled by the servo motor at the back of the shock and it's being managed by ECU. So at the lower RPM, the exhaust valve will be closed and at the higher RPM, the exhaust valve will be open. So this is the stock configuration which came from the factory but my exhaust valve is open at all time yep. So right now I'm going to show you guys the sound difference between the opening and closing of the exhaust valve Alright guys, so I've used the cable tie to hold up the exhaust valve in place which means right now the exhaust valve is being fixed at a closed position and right now I'm going to test the bike.
So after five minutes of riding, I've noticed there's a slight change in the exhaust sound. It sounds pretty droney and quiet. It's not as busy as before. So at lower RPM, I can't notice there's any difference in the low end sound. So at mid to high RPM, I can't really feel the pull. So I think it's not ideal for track use, where you always ride your bike at a higher RPM. So the exhaust sound really really quiet So what I can hear is only the engine noise but not the exhaust sound So for those guys who are just running on the street and if you don't want to spend much on modifications, you may consider to stick with the stock exhaust. So if you are looking for performance and louder exhaust sound, maybe you can get the full exhaust system along with your ECU tune in order to have a significant change in terms of power and louder exhaust sound. So just by changing the slip on exhaust will not make any difference because your ECU is not tuned. Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to like and subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Ride safe and bye!